Hey, what's going on, you guys? Sir Burns a lot here with Team High Cloud. Today, I'm actually playing with Rabbit Man and Who's Kaiser Souza. This is the first game I've ever played with Who's Kaiser Souza, and he's actually a pretty fun guy to play with. Uh, and I actually ended up recording the game. The reason I'm posting it is because my buddy FTR Aries here. Uh, it's been a guy that I've been talking about. Uh, talking with about the game for a little while uh we've talked about strategies and stuff and i've taught him a few things and um i don't remember if he's ever been in any of my videos so this is his chance to be in one of the videos so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it it's a pretty fun game um and it teaches a couple of different things and i'll go through that as the game goes as always trying to help you guys get better at the game and uh by learning these things by actually going back and watching my videos i can see the mistakes that i make and it makes it abundantly clear that i'm terrible at the game but anyway uh going with the standard opening i believe i'm playing as anders we're playing with the ander i think it's anders cutter rb against uh um i think it was a rb brute anders maybe um but anyway uh took a little bit of a delay there on that pad i'm not used to really playing anders too much anymore because i always play i've been playing with forge for a long time um but anyway, uh, like I said in the other video, uh, this is probably going to be one of my, uh, it's it's pretty much a countdown to the last couple of uploads here, um, just because my Xbox Live is going to be running out soon. Um, I actually miss, uh, I actually made a mistake. My Xbox Live actually renews, uh, or is supposed to renew in April, so I have the rest of March to be able to, you know, do my stuff, so that's just something to think about there. I could have swore somebody was just knocking on my dough. Anyway, um, but yeah, so I have the rest of this month um, and pretty much the rest of the next month. I have until the 25th to play. So I'm going to be posting videos and stuff, so you guys don't worry too much about it. Um, so I am going to be posting a few more tutorial videos and a couple of gameplay videos if I have any good ones. And um, it really just comes down to how much I'm going to be able to play. Um, but right here, um, I decided... Normally, Xanders, this is what you're going to do. You're going to end up going for hogs. Uh, your other UNSC, normally they'll try to go for some hogs as well to just help you out, just to make sure you have two offensive fronts with your hogs. Um, that way the RB can't just recall and rage them all down. And I'm just going to, I'm going reactor third, uh, reactor fifth here going for, um, it's actually delayed a little bit because I'm trying to get uh, a couple more hogs out. I have four hogs right now. And... Uh, we see over here that their Anders try to expand on this middle base, which normally isn't a really good thing unless you want your uh, Anders to get their hogs caught on the way in because the reinforcements are back there, uh, pretty much in the middle of the map there. Or, you know, the base can get caught like it's getting caught now. So right here, this reactor is going to come up, and I'm going to be able to queue up Gunner pretty soon. There it is. And I think I'm going to have... I think I get six hogs out, maybe seven by the time Gunner's done. Um, and right here, I'm just leaving that pad open because I am going to want to get my Tech 2 on that. I'm um, going to have my Gunner pretty soon, so I'm going to go to the front of Brute's base. I didn't really want to go down there and uh, camp the lift without having Gunner. And for some reason, I keep sending my hogs back to my base. And you guys will see that a little bit here. But he is putting a whole lot of damage in on this base, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to kill it. I don't know how many Sueys you put into it. Normally, I'd put two or three into an Anders base before I quit, but it just kind of depends. Um, right here, I'm just sitting on money, waiting for the gunner. There it goes. And I'm just going to kind of chill at the front of the base. And this is the Brute's base, so I'm trying to keep the Brute squads from uh, collecting and doing too much damage. So right here, I'm going to be able to focus this one down, and it's dodging a lot of my bullets. And I'm going to be able to almost kill it. I don't think I was able to fully kill it there. Um... I believe here in a second I'm going to queue up a couple more hogs, maybe. I need to. Um, but right now I'm not really too uh, too worried about camping in the front of the base because normally when you're at the front of the base here, they will stop producing brutes. Normally they're not going to keep doing it because they know you're just going to be able to camp them out. So I normally don't stay there. I just try to go off to the side here and just try to do some damage. Uh, I'm just waiting pretty much to see where the RB is going to be because I want to save up enough money where... I can uh, debomb the RB if necessary. So right here, I just have a whole bunch of hogs and stuff queued, and I'm just gonna drop pads and wait for this RB to recall. I'm gonna drive back a little bit to maybe make them think that I'm gonna run away, uh, come back in, and I'm just gonna keep it in this pad. And like I said, I'm just waiting for this RB to show up. I'm kind of uh, getting close to where I need the money to be able to do it. And I queue up another hog there, but I think I'm gonna go back and DQ it here in a second, unless I'm getting the money. Okay, I'm getting really close to the money. I don't think I'm going to uh, 
deny that hog. But here, guy's about to. Uh, he brings his hogs in to engage me. He's got four hogs. I just have a lot more hogs, and I get grin as soon as he shows up. So I'm just going to shred all of these hogs. And I guess this is pretty much where he decides, hey, I'm going to need some help down here, Mr. Arbitar. So right here, I have plenty of money for the D-bomb. I think I'm going to go queue up another hog, though, because I'm getting uh, quite a bit of money here. Yeah, I'm going to queue up two more hogs. And pretty soon I'm going to see the Arby over here, I'm pretty sure. And sorry I'm not getting too much footage of the other stuff. I'm just worrying about the stuff I'm doing here. There's the Arby. And I'm going to run to the back of the base. So he has a little bit more of the space he has to run. And I'm going to drop the D-bomb there. He's not going to get any of my hogs. And I'm just going to try to bunch him in here, but I couldn't do it in time. So right here I'm just trying to trap him in the D-bomb and try to kill him. But even if I don't kill him, if I get him to really low health, force a recall, force a healing ring and stuff, that's pretty much what I want. But now, this is the big thing. Now that I've dropped the D-bomb, and I've dropped a bunch of stuff on that base. He's not going to be able to get a shield up and stuff. And since I have Grenadier, it's a pretty good idea to aim main here. So that's what I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to go for the main because uh, this whole time the Brute and the Brute squads have been up at uh, Kaiser Soze's base, and they've been kind of crapping on him. But that's normally what happens when you play a double UNSC. The double UNSC, uh, the Covenant's going to get stripped really bad, really hard, uh, if both people don't go for hogs which is something Rabbitman decided he wasn't going to do. He was going to go straight into tanks, which is fine because he ended up uh, getting tanks pretty quickly. And um, Right here, I'm just getting my numbers and stuff up. I'm not really too concerned about getting uh, Goss right now. I just want to make sure I have numbers because um, the numbers is really more important to me than getting Goss. Um, so I'm just going to keep pumping. Uh, Kaiser Soza's base is about to die, so he buys this one over here. Um, and I... You guys can probably see it on the minimap. Uh, Kaiser Souza actually wasn't able to kill that Anders base over there, so it's really weak. So we were debating whether or not I should finish this base off or go over there and push. And that happened a couple of, uh, probably a minute and a half, two minutes ago. So uh, that was just something I decided to not do. Like I just didn't want to stop hitting the brute because I already had the D-bomb over there. I was going to just go ahead and kill the base because if I go up to the Anders base, the RB can come over there and rage, and then there was no point. I didn't use the full... Uh, the full effect of the d-bomb really so the tanks are over here and we're going to start working on this base now now that i've killed that covenant's base uh he's going to be scrambling to get another base as is kaiser soza but the difference is i'm going to have goss pretty soon and this guy's going to have tanks which means we have a huge unsc lead even if they do have a covey lead and have some air and everything the goss is really going to be the game changer because they can't really use their banshees or anything like that when i have goss mixed in with the tanks so we're just going to do a whole lot of damage here um I'm going to sell one of my reactors for a field armory uh, after I queue up Goss. Once that comes up, I'll get reserves, and after that, I'll sell my factory for our, or my field armory for a, uh, a supply pad, and then I'll go for third base at some point. Just standard Anders play, but it was a pretty fun game. Um, but yeah, now just kind of pushing. I see that Teal has uh, wraiths, which is kind of odd, but the wraiths do counter the hogs, so... I could see where he was going for with that, but we do have tanks, and the tanks are just better than wraiths. So that's just how that works out. I'm going to sell another reactor here, build another pad. Um, the way that you do that, um, when you sell a reactor to get your field armory, that should give you enough to keep queuing hogs and stuff while getting your uh, your reserves out. And then the same thing, when you queue up your reserves, you can uh, recycle one of your reactors, and that will give you enough money to keep pumping and build a supply pad and all that good stuff. So pretty solid Anders build here. Another way you could do it, you could upgrade this base. It kind of breaks your production, so that's a reason I really don't like to do it. Um, it'll cut your production for just a couple seconds, so it's not really bad. It's just something I don't like to do. Uh, right here, I see he hasn't taken this base, so I'm going to go to the reactors, just take him out of that. And right now, it's pretty. that's pretty much the end of the game. Their, uh, their covey's been scrambling this whole time. I'm going to click uh, Kaiser Soza here in a couple of seconds um, so he can build his temple a little quicker and get his Arbiter back out because... That's really all we need. We don't need anything to handle the air. We don't really need anything particularly to handle the tanks. We just need something, and that RB is going to be the little bit of something we need to push the game. But my bunny's over here in his cage making noises. Anyway, um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the end of the game. I don't really know what else to talk about in the meantime while I'm waiting on this boring part. Um, just, uh, there's one guy that's gone. Uh... I'm planning, actually I'm playing with O'Malley and Prodigy tonight. I have a strategy I've been working on that I think that they might find pretty cool. 
and um, hopefully we'll be able to make it work. Uh, if not, we'll probably get a turtle done. If we can get a turtle done, then you guys can definitely be on the lookout for a turtle video. Um, and like I said in my other video, I'm going to be taking a break and not getting the Xbox Live right now, but I do have a two-day trial, so if you guys do want to play or if I get a really big urge to play or something like that, I can use that two-day trial and just hop on, do a few turtles and stuff and have it, but with how everything's working right now, I just don't really have enough time to really play Halo Wars. I haven't really felt like playing Halo Wars too much, and I mean, I don't know. It's I've just been real busy, and on top of being busy, didn't really have the urge to play, so... Um, they haven't found his base yet, so they're not really going to be able to do anything. Uh, he can send his wraiths down there and try to find them, but if they're fighting his base, they're not fighting the Goss. And I just have so many Goss right now. I think they're still just shielded wraiths, and I have almost a full pop of Goss. So I can sack into them. Um, I can just sacrifice my units in and trade cost-effectively here because my units are just so cheap, and they train so fast and just do so much damage. So, if he had Tech 2 Wraiths, that'd be a different story. Tech 2 does a little bit better. They still lose the Goss, but not as easily. Um, if he would have got the reactors and got all the way up to Plasma Modulator, then that could have been a problem. But anyway. Um, so, yeah. The game's winding down, killing off the rest of these tanks, about to push up to this base. The... Um, our tanks are pushing up on their Covenant's base right now and just doing some work to him. Uh, dude has a shield, so I'm not really too worried about anything. It's just going to take a little bit longer for the game to be over. Oh. Rabbit Man, I believe, is on power turret right now, so that's cool. And there's the Arby who thinks he's going to come over here and rage with his little tank buddies, but I'm just going to come in here and ram and take him to no bar real fast, and then my Goss is just going to rape him. Boom! Just ran the fuck over. Bye, Arby. But anyway, um, I don't know what to talk about. These tanks are going to swing around and help me take care of these wraiths after they're done crapping on this base. He could have honestly been moving this way already, but it's whatevs. I'm not here to judge. Um, now we're just going to strip this base. GG. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, um, I am going to work on, uh, doing a video, uh, pretty soon. I'll probably, I'll try to get some gameplay footage for it. Maybe it's something I'll talk about if I can find a turtle because during the turtle, uh, commentaries and stuff, it's real hard to find stuff to talk about. So, um, I have a video that I'm going to post about the basics of threes and why certain, uh, certain leaders and unit compositions and stuff work in 3v3s and I'll do a little tutorial on that. Not going to be anything really fancy, just something for the mid-grade or uh, mid-level or lower level people to look at and stuff that'll kind of give them an idea of why these rushing faggots come in with warthogs and their leaders so early on. But anyway, that's pretty much the end of the game. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, like always, this is Sir Burns a lot with Team High Cloud. Uh, you guys take it easy. Thanks for watching and you guys have a good day.